Hello children, Sairam. So today in grammar period, uh, we are going to continue our chapter 7, verbs part 2. In our part 1 uh, of the verbs chapter children, we have covered the action words are called as verbs and the helping verbs we have seen. Okay, we have studied that the action done by the subject in the sentence is called as, is a verb, it's an action word. And the <coughs> helping verbs, few examples we have seen that is am, is, are, was, where, has, have, shall, will, should. Okay, because they help the verbs to make the complete sentence. And helping verbs tell us when something is happening. This is what we studied in our previous class. So today we are going to continue with the same chapter and we are going to see part 2 which is on your page number 47 to 52. And the subtopic we are going to see that is tense. Okay. Are you sitting with your grammar textbooks, pencils and erasers? Very good children. Now children see on your page number 48, tense. These three sentences are given. Read the following sentences. You have to read it with me. First sentence, Mona writes a letter. Second, Mona wrote a letter. And third is, Mona will or shall write a letter. Okay. By reading the sentences, you must have observed some words are underlined. Isn't it? So, we will read the sentences again and this time by reading, you give attention to the underlined words. Mona writes a letter. Mona wrote a letter. And Mona will or shall write a letter. So, here the underlined words are showing the Actions in the sentences. Isn't it children? So they are the action words. That is they are verbs. They show the actions done by the subject in the sentence. For example, Mona writes a letter. Mona wrote a letter. Mona will or shall write a letter. It means they are showing the action done by the subject Mona in this sentence. Now, we can say the verbs writes, wrote, will, shall write indicate three different times. Isn't it children? In the first sentence, Mona writes a letter, then wrote a letter and will, shall write a letter. These three underlined verbs, they are indicating three different times. The verbs writes, Shows the action done in the present time. Therefore, it is known as simple present tense. Okay. The verbs write, the verb write shows the action done in the present tense. Current time. So, there, therefore, it is known as a simple present tense. Then, the verb wrote. Shows that the time of the action done has passed. The action is already done, completed. So, therefore, it is known as a simple past tense. Then, the verb will or shall write shows the action is yet to take place. Okay, the action is not yet started. The action is yet to take place. Later, somewhere in future. So, it is known as a simple, so it is known as simple future tense. You understood children? We have studied three types of tenses. Simple present tense, simple past tense and simple future tense. The action done in the present time is present tense. Simple present, the action Done has passed, that is simple past tense and the action is yet to take place. 
that is future tense so based on this there is one interesting activity given on your page number 49 activity a what does it say underline the verbs and state whether they are in present tense past tense or future tense in the you have to write it in the columns okay so what we have to do for that children we have to read the sentence very carefully first thing second thing you have to give attention to the action word in the sentence that is verbs in the sentence you have to identify the verb first and third thing you have to see in what is the at what time that action has taken place then only you will be able to find out whether the sentence is in present tense past tense or future tense it's very easy okay let's see the, there are eight sentences given in this activity a and we are going to solve few of them okay let's see the first sentence sona will tell the truth sona will tell the truth now what we have to do we have to underline the verb first so which is the verb action word tell okay but with this tell one helping verb is also there so we will underline both will tell is the verb and now we have to identify whether it is is present tense future tense or past tense so which tense it is will tell it is future tense this sentence is in future tense and the verb we have underlined is will tell understood children easy let's move ahead and see the second we read the lesson every day in the school now which is the action word in this sentence read now read verb is in which tense that we have to find out okay now it is in which tense it is in present tense third sentence the children went to agra for a trip the children went to agra for a trip and the verb is went and in the fourth sentence sheila speaks english well in this sentence the verb is very good speaks now let us see in which tense these words are went and speaks the children went to agra the verb went is in past tense it's the past tense of go very good and speaks is in present tense understood children next exercise uh, next question fifth the sun sets in the west the sun sets in the west and the action word is sets and it is in present tense same way sixth question we shall play the match on sunday and the action word is shall play very simple to identify the tense it is in future tense let's move ahead quickly and see activity b now here also we have to underline the verbs in the following sentences and change them into past tense and rewrite now here what we have to do children you have to read the sentence carefully then we have to identify the verbs then we are going to underline the verb and after underline the verb we are going to change that verb into past tense and we are going to write the full sentence again okay we will rewrite that sentence using the past tense form of that verb clear let's do the first question 
It rains heavily. It rains heavily. Now the first step. We are going to underline the verb. Which is the verb? V rains. Very good. Rains. Now what is the past tense of rains children? Can you tell me? Past tense of rains is? Rained. Rains. Rained. Now let us. Rewrite this sentence using the verb rain. Okay. And it will look like this. It rained heavily. It rained heavily. Second sentence. Anil runs in the playground. Now we will do one thing children. We will underline the verbs first. And then we will use that past tense of that verb and we will rewrite the sentence. Okay. Now in second question, Anil runs in the playground. Which is the verb? Runs. In the third sentence, the waiter serves food. Which is the verb? Serves. Very good. Fourth sentence, Sarla plays with her doll. Which is the verb? Action word? Plays. Very nice. Now let's use the past tense form of these words and we will rewrite the sentence. Now runs. Past tense of run is ran. Then past tense of serves is served. And then past tense of plays is played. Okay, now we got the past tense form of the verbs given in this question. Now we are going to use this past tense form and we will rewrite the question. Okay, let's do it. Anil ran in the playground. The waiter served food and Sarla played with her doll. Now here in the C question children, change the verbs in the following sentences to future tense and rewrite. The mail was delivered yesterday. Now in this sentence which is the verb? Delivered. Now while changing the verb into future tense, we have studied that we have to just add will or shall. Isn't it? Now the mail was delivered yesterday. How we will rewrite this sentence using future tense form of the verb? The mail will be delivered tomorrow. Next, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Here the verb is keeps. She gave me a dress. Action word, verb is gave. The local train was late. Here the verb is was. Now we will use the future tense form of these verbs and the answer will be an apple a day will keep the doctor away. She will give me a dress. And the local train will be late. Okay. The local train will be late. Is, was and will be. These are the three forms of the verb. Now. That in this activity we have covered four sentences children. Total eight are there. And four you will do on your own. own. And I hope you will enjoy doing it. Because now you have understood the three kinds of tenses. Let's move to page number 51 and activity D. Here you can see some pictures given children, right? Can you see? And they have uh, given the names of the children under that picture. Anu, Mala, Mary, Ami, like this. Okay. So what we have to do? See. Look at the following pictures and write that. Write what each person is doing in the columns. In the given tense. Okay. And one sentence is done for you. First one is done for us. Can you see? Now see. The first picture is A. She is who? She is Anu. Now we have to write the simple present tense, simple past tense and simple 
future tense okay we have to write the sentence in all the three tenses what she is doing anu is writing so how we will write in simple present tense anu writes simple past tense anu wrote and simple future tense anu will write so remember children write wrote and will write let's move ahead and see the next picture b picture they have given the picture of one girl she is mala can you identify what is she doing yes she is singing so in these three different columns how we will write in the sentence she is singing so what we will say mala sings simple past tense mala sang and simple future tense mala will sing sings sing sang will sing present past future tense c picture it's a girl named mary and what is she doing she is cooking so how we will write mary cooks mary cooked and mary will cook cook cooked will cook now he is amir what amir is doing amir is dancing so we say simple present tense amir dances amir danced amir will dance 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 will dance now we have to complete the table one table is given children see on your page number 52 activity e complete the following table here also three headings are given simple present simple past and simple future tense now all of you have understood the simple present tense simple past tense and simple future tense so you will enjoy this and uh, very quickly you are going to give me the answers also see the first sentence is given i eat rice i eat rice so what will be the past tense of eat very good it's ate so what will be our sentence i ate rice and the future tense of the verb eat is will eat so how we will use it i will eat rice just practice children i eat rice i ate rice i will eat rice second they have given us the future uh, future tense sentence he will work hard now here he will work hard so what will be the present tense and the past tense of this sentence he works hard he worked hard and he will work hard he works hard he worked hard and he will work hard in the third sentence simple past tense example is given radha read well although the spelling remains same we pronounce the verb read as read when it is used in past tense radha read well the present tense of this verb will uh, will be radha reads well and the future tense will be radha will read well radha will read well fourth sentence mini teaches well mini teaches well past tense will be mini taught well and future tense mini will teach well now f question complete the following table 
simple present simple past simple future now here only the verbs are given sentences are not given so we have to just write the different forms of that verb past tense and future tense the list is play write start buy make go and fight and ring let us see the past tense form of these verbs first played wrote started bought made went fought and rang and the future tense will play will write will start will buy will make will go will fight and will ring so let's read it quickly children you can also read with me play played will play write wrote will write start started will start buy bought will buy make made will make go went will go fight fought will fight ring rang will ring you have to remember children with the when we write the future tense form of the verb after adding will or shall we have to write the present tense of that verb if you write will played it's wrong so will play this way g activity give the present tense of the following now past tense verbs are given now we have to write the present tense uh, present tense of this given words total 8 are given we are going to cover four in the period the past tense verbs are became be climbed enjoyed swam so present tense will be the present tense form of became is become present tense form of climbed is climbed enjoyed's present tense form is enjoy and the present tense form of swam is swim became become climbed climb enjoyed enjoy and swam swim easy the next four words given are shook open straight and sang so that you have to do on your own okay have you enjoyed today's period children it's very important topic in english grammar tenses be careful give practice more and more and read it again and again and by heart the present tense form the past tense form and the future tense form of that particular verbs today we have covered the simple present simple past and simple future tense of the verbs so let's stop here children i hope you enjoyed today's period sairam